Good morning, guys. So I've been thinking a lot about the different things that our family has been doing since we haven't been able to meet together. We haven't been able to go to a lot of places. And so one of the things that Lydia and I did, I don't know, three or four months ago, um, was we ordered one of those Ipsy subscription boxes. So do you know what these are? Makeup bags, right? Makeup, doesn't she look beautiful today? All these new products. <laughs> Just kidding. So it's a, it's a subscription that you pay. This is one of the less expensive ones, but we decided to go in on it together. And so it's kind of like a little mother-daughter date at home when the bag comes. We go through it, we... We, I was going to say we taste them. We don't taste them. <laughs> we try them, and um, we get to decide, oh, do you like this, or maybe I'll order this, or, and then we fight over, it comes in a little makeup bag, and we fight over who actually gets to keep the makeup bag, because that's usually the winner out of it, but this is not an ad for Ipsy, but what it got me thinking was, how do we do this as a church? How do we support families? How do we have kids' church when we can't gather for kids' church. And one of my biggest dreams has been for many years is that we would help equip parents to disciple their children at home. As a parent of two teenagers, this is not always easy. It seems like it would be easy. It is not always easy. It takes intentionality. It takes effort. It takes rhythm and putting things in place like father-daughter dates, mother-daughter dates, whatever son to the skate park, which I don't ride my skateboard, but we go to the skate park and I get to watch him, so that's a lot of fun. Um, But things like that where we're just spending time together as a family. So I started resonating and thinking this and, and reflecting like, God, what does that look like when we can't meet together as a church? How can we better equip families for this season where we find ourselves? So I came up with Kids Church in a Box And so on the family Sunday over the next several months, I will show you what is in your family box. It has a theme. And then over the next week, I will deliver it or I have some people helping me deliver them to your homes so that you as a family can go through some of the stuff. So I decided to start with joy. Now, I started with joy because it felt like was something we just as a church needed. We as families needed. Some of us are kind of stressed out or maybe depressed. And so joy is a foundation of scripture. We see time and time again where we see God telling us and Jesus reminding us that we can have joy even in the midst of tough circumstances, that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Maybe you know another verse about joy. If you do, turn to your family right now and tell them anything you think of when you think of joy. Okay, now I took the brightest shirt. I don't wear a lot of bright colors. If you're around me, I wear a lot of muted colors. But I wore the brightest shirt that I have in my closet today because it makes me happy. I'm not really a pink person, but pink is just, I don't know, it's happy. So I picked that shirt. So you'll get a box like this delivered to your house. And there'll be a lovely bow on it, which I'm not very good at tying, so uh uh-oh. I'm not very good at untying, I should say. And you'll pull it off, and there's a theme verse right on the front of it. And the theme verse is, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. And that's from 3 John 1, 4. And so I would love for you as a family to be talking about what does it mean that God gets joy when he sees us walking in truth, when we're sharing scriptures, when we're reminding each other of the foundations and who Jesus is and what he's done for us. So I will go through with this kind of quickly so you can see what's in your box. But first, you're going to get some streamers because who doesn't love streamers? Mom and dad, sorry, it's going to make a mess in your house. But you can hang up the streamers around whichever room you designate when you're talking about these things because they remind me of parties. Do they remind you of parties? I I was going to go with confetti, and then I went with streamer. So there. I'm trying to think of the parents here. So you've got some Almond Joy candies, of course. And there are nuts in there, so Megan, don't eat them. Um, I've got a picture frame for you. Now, this has a little card in it. You can take this card out, and this is a picture. Now, some of you are looking at me saying, what is a picture? Because everything you have is digital. But I would encourage you to take a picture of a time when your family was celebrating something, when you were joyful about something, and go print it out. How much does it cost at CVS? Like 15 cents? Super cheap. Print it out at CVS and put it in here for this month of September and remind yourself of the joyful moments that you've had as a family. Bubbles, because who doesn't love bubbles? They're just happy. They're joyful. Then there are some seeds to plant. 
and a little tiny flower pot that you guys can plant together. And the reason I went with that is because I was thinking about new life and how joyful it is when we see new life. So if you're like me, you're not very good with plants, it's okay. Just try it anyways and see what grows and talk about how we can grow into new life in Jesus. There's a journal in each book so you can write or draw different things that you have as memories or things you want to do as a family that bring you joy. Now my guess is things that bring you joy might be different for your siblings, but write them down and learn what are the joyful things that you like to do together or where have you seen God at work bringing joy to your family or to someone else. There's this lovely little kit here that you can make bouncy balls out of. So they're not bouncy balls right now. You actually make your own bouncy balls. Pretty cool. Just because they're fun, right? Sorry, mom and dad. Okay, a few more here for you. There is a devotional on almond joy candy, but it's got some scriptures there from James, some questions for you guys to talk about and really dive into what is this thing about joy and how can we have joy in all circumstances. And then there's some scripture verses. There's a couple of them. I'll let you go through them. There's four, so you can hang them up on your wall or your bulletin board. Talk about them. There's four, so if you want to do one a week, you can do that. And then there's just some coloring pages that you can color that have some scriptures and some joyful words on them. So you can color those with your colored pen that has lots of different colors. You know, one of those ones that click to all the different colors. And then there's a few colored pencils in your box as well. Now the last thing in your box is a box of brownies for you guys to bake. Now here's the thing with this. I would love for you to think about who is somebody who we could bring some joy to as our family represents Christ during this season. So I would love for you to bake these brownies together as a family and then pray over them and deliver them to a neighbor or a friend or someone you know who could use a little bit extra joy. Maybe it's somebody you don't know very well. We just had some, a new family move into our neighborhood. Maybe it's something like that, a chance to go meet somebody and say, hey, we just wanted to share some joy. And you can give them one of your coloring pages if you like, um, or you don't have to. But I'd love for you just to talk about this word joy. Look through these scriptures and these devotions. And then other verses that you come up with about joy, I'd love to hear what comes out of this at the end of the month. So. Let me pray over you. Father, thank you for children. Thank you for the joy that they bring. Lord, we pray that more joy would rise up in our families, that right now we would turn to you. We would know that there is nothing that brings you greater joy than to see your children walking in truth. So may we walk in your truth, Jesus. May we stand on your faithfulness and your goodness. Bless these children. Bless these families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.